Hey everyone, welcome back to another Spirit Baby video. This reading is for the week of October 19th to 25th, but as always, the messages are truly timeless, so don't worry if you're watching this and you're not um, within that time frame. The messages transcend time. Just a reminder before we get into the reading, the shop will be open again this Wednesday, October 21st. And you can still pre-order Spirit Baby Tarot, which is the tarot deck we're using today. So now let's jump in and get started. We're going to focus on one thought for this reading. Um, and that thought is, what does your spirit baby want you to know? So spirit baby in this case is referring to the child you are meant to have, um, a loved one's child, um, a child that you may mentor or meet later on in life when they're an adult or whatever the case is, whatever your connection to your spirit baby is, this message is for you. And if the messages don't resonate, that's okay. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. So if you wanted a personal reading, make sure to book a reading with me. I'll leave the links below. And remember on Wednesday, you can actually order a reading because they will be in stock again. So what does your spirit baby want you to know? Let's get some oracle cards in here. Whoa. This one jumped out. Get more information. I'm going to pull a few out. Let's see if I can adjust the lighting. Okay. So what does your spirit baby want you to know? Get one more and a compromise. Okay. Get more information and compromise. Interesting. It feels like they want to communicate with you and they're asking you to be open to receiving their communication, however it manifests, right? That's where the compromising comes through. Um, it also feels like this message is about divine union too, compromising with your partner. So, oh, death is the first to jump out. Death represents transformation. And in this case, with this card, it's the 3D and 5D merging. So whatever it is that you see in the 5D is coming to the 3D, be it the manifestation of your spirit baby or your divine union. 13 here also represents Scorpio season, which is coming up. So it feels like it's going to be a big transformational time for many of you, um, which is very interesting. There's a lot going on this Scorpio season. We have the Six of Cups, reunion, connecting to children, connecting to your childlike energy too and having fun, being playful. That's coming through. The Hermit and the Page of Wands. So coming out of hiding, Finally, emerging after that period of um, looking within and receiving guidance. So for this card, for the Hermit, it actually feels like on the Spirit Baby end, so the manifestation of Spirit Baby, um, if you haven't been communicating with them or you haven't been getting clear communication, that's because they weren't ready to come forward. They still had some things to complete, such as their book of life, or um, they had to wait for you to be at a specific point in your journey before they can give you this information. So now they're getting ready to come out of that, that hiding energy and deliver this information and help you create this new world. So they're going to deliver the information in very creative and playful ways. Um, and together you're co-creating this new beginning. You're birthing this new beginning with their help, their guidance. Now, when it comes to divine unions and divine counterparts, the spirit babies are saying that your divine counterpart has gone through their awakening and they're ready to come forward. 
it feels like they've been hibernating for a very long time. I'm, I'm seeing a bear in a cave. That's what the babies are showing me. Um, and on the flip side, they're also showing me Snow White sleeping in her glass uh, coffin. And now they're showing me Sleeping Beauty as well, just sleeping. Uh, so it feels like the bear here represents your divine counterpart. And they're waking up from their hibernation and then transforming into that, like that prince archetype. Um, they don't have to be male. It's just that energy of coming forward, taking action. And, and if you really want to say like saving the day, quote, but that's what's going on with the counterparts. They've gone through the hibernation. They've received all the clarity they need to. They know what this union is, what this connection with you is. Some are aware of the spirit babies. Others are not. And that's okay. They're not meant to at this time. But the spirit babies are still watching over them. And now this partner, this counterpart, is ready. He's like getting rid of that, that winter coat that the bears have when they sleep. He's stretching, um, doing like little warm ups, and then boom, they're on their horse making their way to you, who in this case would be that sleeping princess, Snow White or Sleeping Beauty. You're, and it's not that you're waiting for true love's kiss, it's just you're no longer um, codependent on this connection. So you've put that side of you not to sleep, but you just let it relax which is fantastic. That's what the babies want you to do. So this part of you that's always looking for your divine counterpart, for looking for union, wanting to manifest it, you're no longer in that energy of needing to control and wanting to control. And now that, that you've put that part of you um, to rest, right? Just taking a little nap, taking a break. Now you're going to see your partner come forward and wake you up in a sense. Um, like how in the Disney films, the prince kisses the princess and she wakes up. So it's not that you're being saved or anything like that. It's just your partner is coming home, sees you napping, kisses you awake, and is like, hey, honey, I'm home. That's the energy that the babies are giving for this reading here. Um, and even with the counterparts awakening, I, I, well, they've been awakened. It's just they're coming forward now. So because they're ready to take on this new chapter of reuniting with you and starting this union and learning more about your connection, they feel really happy. Um, they have a weight lifted off of their shoulders. They want to be creative and fun again. So for example, I'll use myself. Um, I haven't been in contact with my divine counterpart in maybe a year and a half, like since we've stop talking completely and my counterpart is a Gemini Sun so he is very outgoing very cheeky likes to joke around like we have a lot of fun together when we hang out but because we've been in separation we haven't had that energy so with the page of wands here that's letting us know that the counterparts are coming back into that energy and they're bringing it back into the connection. So when I see these messages, for me personally, it would say, oh yeah, he's coming back and he's going to be just as fun, just as cheeky, but he's gonna be more open with his feelings, right? So take this message specifically, however it resonates with you. If your counterpart um, is really playful typically, but has been really serious lately, then they're going to bring back that playful energy. If they're um, really carefree usually, but now they're really worried. The same thing, that previous energy is coming forward. That lightheartedness, that fun, creative energy, wanting to build a new life with you, co-creating with you, that is coming forward. I'm actually wondering what the compromise card stands for in this reading. So let's expand on that. Because it doesn't feel like you are being called to action in this reading. It's babies reassuring you that they're coming and that um, they're coming forward in manifestation or in communication. And the same with divine counterparts. So what is this compromising? The compromising is the co-creation that you're having with the spirit babies and your partner. 
But again, you're not being called to action. It's just, I don't know, they're just saying like, hey, you're doing great. Um, we're just reminding you to be open to the creation of this manifestation. That's kind of what they're saying. You don't have to go above and beyond. You're at a really good place right now. Oh, we have two of pentacles and the four of swords. So yeah, just going back to what I was saying earlier, the 3D and 5D are merging. There's a lot of union energy here with the two of pentacles. And this is a confirmation of what I said about you resting. That's exactly what's going on. You're resting and your partner is about to take action. And if you look back on your journey, your specific journey, we all have different journeys. But in the past, you may have noticed that you were the one taking action here and your partner was the one sleeping. They weren't awake yet. So now it kind of flipped where um, you're still awakened, you're just relaxing, and now your partner is doing their half of their own journey. Um, they're meeting you at that rendezvous place, and then you guys will come together in union, however that will manifest, and go forward in your co-creation of this new life together. I'm going to pull another oracle card. Let's see what else the spirit babies want to tell you. And this will be the last message. So what do the spirit babies want to tell you? What does your spirit baby want to tell you? Ooh, opportunity. I love that. I'm going to get one more. A lot of new beginnings, a lot of transformation going hand in hand with the death card there. The Scorpio card. Get a card for opportunity and ask your angels. Listen to your intuition was at the bottom of the deck. So the two of wands. So um, ask your angels and listen to your intuition is clarified by the two of wands, which is telling you that everything is happening in divine timing, which you know, and you're no longer fighting it. Um, at this point, you're probably like, yeah, whatever. Okay. Like, stop telling me this message. I know it's coming when it comes, but they're just reminding you, you know, just a very gentle reminder. Um, and with the two of wands, it's also letting you know that the seeds you've planted have fully grown. So yes, it is happening in divine timing, but they're also saying divine timing is here for most of you. And this isn't uh, necessarily about spirit baby manifestation or union. It's just in general, everything that you've planted, all the seeds you planted have fully grown and it's now time to harvest them. And you will get that notification of, hey, it's time to harvest this, it's time to harvest that. So this clarity, this communication is coming through from your babies and your angels and also just your intuition. I mean, um, again, I'll give you another example. For the past few days, maybe two weeks, I was like, hey, the thing I ordered on pre-order is finally coming in. It's coming in, it's gonna come in on this week. And yes, I have been tempted to email the company just to get an update, just to see if it will be delayed, which is okay if it was, but I resisted the urge because that was me coming from a place of like ego, of wanting to control, but I resisted it. I was like, no, it's gonna come when it comes in divine timing. And just yesterday I got a notification that it shipped and will be here next week. So that's what the, the angels and spirit babies are saying. The seeds you planted, however many months, years ago, it's now fully in bloom. So watch out for their signs or just watch out for like your intuition because you will be getting signs that way as well. Now with opportunity, goes hand in hand with the two of wands with the seeds growing and blooming. But you also have the fool. It's time to take that leap of faith into the unknown. Start that new beginning. Don't be afraid. You're protected by the angels, by your spirit babies, by your spirit team. So for those of you waiting for a sign to, to take that jump, to take that plunge, this is it. Opportunity, the fool, and the six of wands. This card represents success and recognition. It also represents creativity. So definitely follow your passions. This is your sign right here. Everything else in your life um, be it spirit baby manifestation and divine counterpart or just love in general, it's all being taken care of. It's all 
happening according to plan. It's on schedule. It's like you don't have to worry about it. So focus on you right now. That's what your babies want you to know. Focus on your career, um, your health, your happiness, your hobbies, whatever it is that you aren't feeding into, right? Take a moment and think about your life. Where are you lacking in a sense? Now it's time to give energy to that part of you and nourish it and watch it grow and flourish. It's kind of like when you exercise and or you have one arm that's stronger than the other, right? Your dominant hand is usually stronger than your non-dominant hand. So what the babies are saying is instead of focusing on the dominant side of you, focus on the non-dominant side and build upon those skills. That's what they want you to know right now and they will be helping you they will be guiding you you don't really need guidance most of you you already know what it is that you have this desire to follow or to like pursue but you haven't yet and I don't know why you haven't done it yet there's something holding you back and the babies are saying hey like knock down that barrier and just go for it you're safe you're protected and you're going to have a lot of fun with it. You're going to learn a lot about yourself and new opportunities will manifest along the way. So even if you wanted to try something new and it doesn't work out in the end, it wasn't a waste of time because you would have seen a new opportunity manifest along that path. So let's get a closing message here. We have 10 of wands and the chariot. All right, we're going to stop it at here. The star is at the bottom of the deck. So let me pull that one out. Ten of Wands. I love this card because the baby is so happy. You know, they, they went through a hard time. They had all these challenges. And at the end of the day, they came out stronger. And they finished all this work, all this healing they, they needed to do. And they just feel so free and refreshed, right? That weight has been left, taken off of their shoulders. That's your energy here. Once again, everything is under control. The universe is watching over it. The angels are watching over the manifest manifestation of babies, partners, everything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. Focus on yourself and that will give you that, that relief, the sense of something being lifted off your shoulders. Ten of Wands is also letting you know it's time for this new beginning. You've completed this chapter and this second, well, this next chapter is coming quickly with a chariot here, number seven. Number seven is also the number of manifestations. So this is, once again, a reminder that the seeds you've planted have bloomed and it's time to receive those manifestations. And lastly, the star, which is 17. Oh, 717 is a union number right here, 717. So there's that sign for you. Union is coming with babies and partners, but more so your romantic partner. And the stars letting you know that wishes are coming true. I love this card because the darkness surrounding this baby, you would think would scare the child. Um, and you may feel suffocated by all this darkness. But in their hand, they have that light. So it's telling you that you are coming into the light. You are receiving that clarity from your spirit babies, um, your angels, and your partner. And more so, this represents your partner coming through with, communication and just clarity on how they've been feeling, what they've learned throughout this time and separation. Um, the spirit babies will also come through with their own clarity for those of you who have a lot of questions. Um, and it feels like this is past life related or it may be your soul connection in this current life. That's what the spirit babies are bringing towards you. But overall, this is a great reading. Everything is on track. It's important. They want me to say that it's important for you to know that you cannot make a mistake in life. Every decision you make will just take you on a, a new turn on your journey. Nothing is happening to you. It's all happening for you. It's all life lessons. It's all new experiences that you wanted to have in this lifetime. So you don't have to worry about making mistakes because that's truly not a thing and you don't have to worry about failing in something 
right? Like if you had a five-year plan where you're going to get married at a certain age and have kids at a certain age and that those ages have passed, please know that you have not failed, quote unquote, failed your life path, your plan. You haven't failed it because you're just taking a new, a new chapter in life, a new journey. This journey that's always been meant for you, that you had the free will to choose, right? Because you have all these different paths that you can choose from. So you're on the right track. Please know that there's no more anxiety, no more overthinking or feeling stressed out. This is a very calm reading. Very, very calm reading. Um, yeah, there's a lot of peace here in this reading. So the spirit babies are just letting you know they have everything under control. You can continue going about your day and know that they are with you if you ever want to talk to them or if you need guidance. Um, but it's pretty chill right now. It's very chill. Like it's the calm before the storm and this storm that's coming is this change, this new opportunity, these manifestations. So right now everyone is really calm, which is great because we all need that break, right? So that was this week's Spirit Baby reading. If you would like your own, the links will be below, but keep in mind that they will not um, be in stock. The readings will not be in stock until October 21st. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I will see you next week. Please make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe with that notification bell so that you do get notifications on all of my readings when I do post them.